Next on the student review, trial continues as this hour for a Rankin County teen accused of killing her mother. We'll have the latest details from inside the courtroom coming up. And later this week, you can learn new information on the housing assistance from FEMA if you live in the Rolling Fork area. And right now, we are 47 days away from the 2024 presidential election. We'll have new details ahead in Decision 2024 News right here on the Student Review. Live from Mississippi's breaking news leader, this is WLBT News. Three on your side. First, on the Student Review, we're tracking updates right now as a murder trial continues this week for a Rankin County team. 15-year-old Carly Gregg is accused of shooting and killing her mother, Ashley Smiley, in March of this year. This week, we are learning new information each day as state prosecutors release new evidence against Gregg in court. Here's a breakdown of the trial now. She walked with that 357 Magnum behind her back, walked in to her own bedroom, and then three, fired three shots into her mother. It's been a busy week for lawyers in Rankin County as the trial continues for 15-year-old Carly Gregg. The Rankin County team is accused of killing her mother, 40-year-old Ashley Smiley, on March 19th, who is a beloved teacher at Northwest Rankin High School. Jury selection began on Monday, with the trial getting underway shortly after everyone was seated. Prosecutors played this 911 call from Gregg's stepfather in court. Okay, sir. Where is your, where is your wife? She's dead on the floor of my daughter's stepdaughter's room. What's your wife saying? Ashley Smiley. Ashley Smiley. <laughs> Monday's testimonies included several witnesses, including Rankin County Deputy Hunter Lewis, whose body camera was shown in the courtroom. Moving along to Tuesday, Greg's stepfather, Heath Smiley, took the stand to give his testimony and explain what happened after finding his wife dead inside their home before he was also shot. I've never seen anybody like that. Even in movies, she was not herself. And like I said, I do not believe she even recognized me. As the trial continued Tuesday, state prosecutors showed surveillance video from the garage of Greg's home, which captured the moments when he smiley arrived home before finding his wife and later showing Carly Gregg running away from her home after the deadly shooting. Several other witnesses who are minors took the stand on both days of the trial to give their account on the moments before and after Gregg murdered her mother. One witness saying that he knew something bad had happened after Carly Gregg FaceTimed him after the shooting, saying it was too late because Gregg had already killed Smiley. Attorneys for Greg said a switch of medications before the shooting, as well as other mental issues, may have led to her behavior. And of course, you can watch day three of Murder Trial right here, right now on WLBT.com. Developing now, Capitol Police are now investigating an overnight shooting in downtown Jackson. It happened around 2 this morning on North Lamar and Alexander Streets. Right now, it is unclear what led to the shooting or if anyone was injured or killed. We'll let you know what we found out in the day ahead. Happening today, J-Tran buses and drivers are back on road this morning across Jackson after a two and a half week strike comes to an end. The employees celebrated on Tuesday after reaching a new deal with parent company MV Transportation. We're relieved because uh, it's been stressful and I know the public has been missing transportation and uh, we're ready to get back to be the driving force of Jackson, but it's been hard work and uh, it's paid off. I think both sides are satisfied. We're satisfied. The members are satisfied and we're just ready to get back to work. More than a thousand people typically ride J-Tran buses on any given day. Switching to some exciting news for Pelican fans, our parent company Gray Media and New Orleans Pelicans are teaming up to bring up to 75 games to stations along the Gulf Coast. The news comes as Gray prepares to form the Gulf Coast Sports and Entertainment Network. Fans can soon watch several upcoming Pelican games through Gray's television stations. Looking ahead, you can receive free information this week in Rolling Fork from FEMA. The agency is hosting a housing and preparedness summit to help those of you affected by last year's storm. FEMA says you will get free assistance with home ownership, 
loan applications, and credit repair. The event begins at 11 Saturday morning. In Decision 2024 News, we are looking live from Washington at this hour as we are now 47 days away from the election day. Both presidential candidates are now targeting key battleground states. We're only a few weeks away. The Trump campaign is still hitting the road with precautions after Sunday's second assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. The suspect, Ryan Wesley Roth, appeared in federal court facing several charges earlier this week in West Palm Beach. Prosecutors say Routh is scheduled for a bond hearing on Monday. Meanwhile, the Harris campaign is in Georgia this week, urging folks to get out and vote on election day. We're told the vice president is set to make more stops in other states within the next few days. And remember, WLBT is your decision, 2024 source as we head into election day. You can find all the biggest stories and more right now at any time at WLBT.com. Let's take a final look across the Jackson Metro as we continue on this Wednesday. Here's a live view on the sky and the roads as folks move along the interstate at this hour. So far, we haven't had any accident reports. They say look at your top local stories that's happening on the Student Review. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here tonight at 6.